Uh, hi everyone and welcome back and in previous couple of videos we covered about uh, top javascript requ questions okay now after just going through about stack queue and linked list the basic data structures now initially we covered some uh, problem solving with the help of stack now we are covering some set of like 10 to 15 general questions about javascript which is which you can solve with the help of string or array okay so we'll start with the third question which is talking about palindrome okay so we will see how you can how you can check a particular string is a palindrome or not so we are going to just uh, write a function is palindrome okay and in this function body so what what is palindrome means so whenever you actually so this is a palindrome because whenever you are doing a reverse of this string this comes out as the same string okay so here this function is taking string as a argument and here we will write a logic which will return a boolean okay uh, so simple logic is what you will do is you will do a split reverse join and then compare with the input argument right this is what you can do or what you can do is this is an array like if i see uh, okay this is uh, one string we got so what you do is we just convert this string into an, an array Okay, and then you play around with this array just to identify that when you do the reverse of this array and join are you getting the same string or not or you can actually traverse this array and check if zero if the starting index is same as the n minus 1 index right you keep increasing the index from 0th index is equal to the n minus 1 index then first index is equal to the n minus 1 minus 1 index right so you traverse it from the forward and compare it with each and every character from the back of the array so simple what we can do is a string dot split so once you do split what it will give you it will give you the array string gets converted into an array of characters and here we can just check every condition that each and every character of the array the starting index value should be same as the end index value then the, the iteration will increase now we will compare e the second index should be equal to the n minus 2 index okay so we are using array dot prototype dot every here we are getting every character and index also okay and this is a callback function like what it will do is it will return i mean it should be just a condition character should be equals to we got the string which is an array uh, to to string dot split so what we have done is uh, we got the string which is a uh, characters string dot length okay minus 1 minus i minus 1 minus our index so what we are doing is it's just n minus 1 because we we get the index start from 0 to n minus 1 right so n minus 1 and the index the first index so Whenever you are traversing an array, array using every, the first character should be equal to the n minus one index. Then second character should be equal to n minus two. So this is the basic code we have written, which is giving us the value. So if uh, dot every on this array is giving us all conditional true, then it means that it is a palindrome, right? This is what we are returning from this every function. Okay. Now another approach is what we can do is you can simply do a string dot split dot reverse dot join right const we will do a check or what we can do is let's put one more underscore this is another function we are writing what we will do is first we will we'll clear out the string I mean what we are saying is that string should not have a spaces 
some special symbols and all right so we can use string dot replace this is a predefined method what replace does it takes the expression so what I'm looking for is any special symbol or the spaces if the string contains then replace it with the empty uh, quotes I mean just remove those spaces and we are converting into two lower case so finally we will get the clean string right now what we will do is we will just do as return the clear string should be equal equal to clear string should be equal equal to we will just split reverse dot join the basic mechanism so first we are doing a split then reverse right and then we will do a join this should give us so what we did is uh, we just clear out the string remove the necessary things and then we are just comparing the original string with the reverse of it okay a simple one uh, so these are actually uh, two basic ones now you can also use a stack what you can do is you keep pushing the elements and then you keep popping the elements so you keep pushing the elements till the middle of an array okay like you have this is an array same array we can talk about okay so first you will find out the length of this okay length divided by 2 you will iterate till then and you will push items to a stack okay after once you are done with the half of an array you will still iterate and what you will say is you will start popping up the element okay so these items are on the stack and these items are still need to be traversed now you traverse them and you also keep doing a pop so first pop element will be e it is compare it is same as the e and second pop element is h which is same as h right push items to the stack and then start doing a pop and compare right so we can also do that uh, in, in the next part what we will do is we will do the palindrome with the help of uh, simple stack okay uh, thanks everyone